A ringed seal with a sophisticated instrument glued to its back is getting ready to dive under the ice sheet in Grenland's Ilulisat ice fjord. Looking for food, it will dive as deep as 500 meters, where the instrument's sensors will collect important data about the water's temperature and salinity. Back on surface, the data will be transmitted by satellite to a weather station on the roof of the New York University. The reason that people are so interested in the water temperature at depth near these glaciers is because the water is basically either cool at the freezing point or it's warm several degrees above the freezing point. If the water is cool, the ice on its surface will grow. But if it's several degrees warmer, the ice will continue to melt, slowly raising the sea level. We have observations from satellites that show that the ice sheet in general is losing more ice every year than it is gaining. It is not in a, um, a state where it's going to grow. It's in a state where it's going to gradually shrink. Transmitters are attached to the seal's skin with special glue. After about a year, they fall off and the animals are not harmed. Scientists measuring the loss of Grenland's ice from above ground say that in general, Grenland is losing more ice than it's gaining. Since 1840, the rate of loss has increased by 60 percent, most of it within the last decade. The process is very slow, but... Even if, uh, if one-tenth of it would melt, in the, in the following hundred years, then there will be huge cities, a very sh a large share of the, the population of the world that uh, will get in trouble because of this uh, sea level rise. The information is one more piece of data climate scientists hope will push the world to take action to fight climate change when the climate summit opens in Paris in a little over a week. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.